Welcome to The Herbal Ire, your podcast on all things holistic health, medical astrology, spirituality, herbalism, and so much more. Presented by your host, Ayer Atla, medical astrologist, herbalist, and naturopath. Let's dive right into today's topic, love and light. Hello, and welcome back to The Herbal Ire. I'm your host, Ayer Atla. I'm a green witch, herbalist, and a medical astrologist. Today, I want to come and talk to you about something that I lived with for way too long, and I see so many others living with as well. And that would be living your life in a constant fight against your body. I will be talking about what that means exactly in this episode, why it is not a good way to live that way, and steps that you can take to start changing that today. So let's get started. Hello, dear listeners. Welcome back to the Herbal Ire. Today, I want to talk all about how your body is not a battlefield. So what exactly does that mean? Have you noticed in our modern day medical system how they talk about treatments for different ailments? Everything is we are going to win the fight against insert disease name here, right? We talk about fighting everything from mental health illness to cancer to autoimmune issues. And pharmaceutical drugs are designed to help this fight as well. They suppress symptoms, they halt your natural processes your body needs to heal, and they push diseases deeper into the body while putting a quick band-aid on as a solution and then stop your body from being able to effectively communicate with you. The modern medical system also has you trained to believe that you could not possibly know what your body wants and needs and that you must see a doctor for every sneeze, sniffle, and cough. Of course, modern medicine has its place. It is great for emergencies. Get in a car accident, modern medicine to the rescue. Break an arm, let's go get that fixed stat. Get stabbed or shot, perfect. They have the solution that you need. It reacts to things that have already occurred. So beyond that, beyond the quick fix for emergency care, modern medicine is not really a great option for preventative care. It's a very reactive system, right? It reacts to things that have already occurred. And it does little to nothing to help prevent it from happening in the first place. Now, obviously, emergencies, you usually can't prevent ahead of time because you don't know they're going to happen. But there's a lot of preventative things you can do to prevent disease and illness from setting in. And if modern medicine does try to help by preventative care, most of their preventative care is just more pills to suppress things before they even start, which is not true prevention. Skills before pills, y'all. Learn the skills you need to work with your body, to listen to it, to fine-tune your intuition, properly nourish your body, and transform your mindset and spirituality, and you will rarely, if ever, need a pill of any kind. Your body is capable of absolutely amazing things, and it does not need to be controlled. It has all of its controls already in place. It is very good at controlling itself. So if you give your body the proper nourishment, the proper lifestyle, and the proper mindset to work with, it will do everything it needs to survive and keep you happy and healthy. So the first mindset change that we need to enact starting today is that your body is not a battlefield and you do not need to win a fight against it. The second one is that someone who does not live in your body could not possibly know more than you than what it needs. You need to understand that you know your body better than anybody else on this planet, and you do not need to give your power of your body over to somebody else who doesn't live in that body. The third one is to listen to your body, learn what it is saying through the language it speaks, which is the language of symptoms, and then give it what it is asking for. This takes time. And it can be frustrating at first because you will get it wrong. You're not going to be 100% accurate at communicating with your body when you've been taught from basically birth that you don't know how to communicate with your body. So it's a learning curve. So be patient with yourself on this mindset change. This is one that you know you need to just know I can do this, but know that it takes some time to get there. So this one can be a little frustrating, but it can happen. And if you need tips on how to start doing that, leave a comment, leave a voice message on the Anchor app, um, and I will get back with you on ways to do that. 
Um, the fourth mindset change we need is to learn to trust yourself in your body. You innately know more than you think you do, even though you've been taught your whole life to suppress that intuition. So it will take time to hear it again and in turn, trust what you are hearing and then act on it. I trust that you can do it though. We are designed to do that actually. We are designed to listen to our bodies, communicate with them through the language of symptoms and then determine what that symptom is telling us so we can give our body what it needs. You just need some time and some practice to get yourself back to that, back to innately listening to your body, back to trusting that you know what your body needs and that you are the best person to know how to Give your body what it needs and take care of it and help it heal. Health is simple and we do not need to overcomplicate it. I'll say that again. Health is simple and we do not need to overcomplicate it. Health is simple, but it's not always easy. It takes practice and it takes effort on our part to rewire what we've been taught, to rewire our brains and to listen to our bodies again. So what is your hardest thing to do when it comes to the necessary mindset changes? Which mindset change to you just feels like a hurdle that you are not going to get over? Share it in the comments. Email me. Join my Facebook group. Post it in there. Um, leave me a voice message on the Anchor app. It would be anchor.fm slash the dash herbal dash ire. That's E-I-R. If you go there, you can leave a voice message for me and I would be happy to get back to you. Uh, just make sure when you leave a voice message, make sure to leave an email address or a social media handle some way that I can get back to you. And if you don't, then I will just make an episode and give you your answer that way. Um, so all necessary links are in the show notes for finding me on all of those channels that I listed. And I would love to hear from you. Um, this is a mindset that is sometimes hard to get into, but necessary if you want to live an optimally healthy and happy life. So until next time, love and light. That's it for another great episode of The Herbal Iyer. Tune in next week for more valuable content with your host, Iyer Atla.